Tonight in sports, we are joined by a Tyler High legend, i.e. John Tyler legend, and someone who is soon to do us a farewell here in East Texas. We're joined by Coach Rickland Holmes. Uh, I mean, a legend here in this area as a player, as a coach. Coach Holmes, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great. You doing Glad great? Glad to be here in the CBS 19 today. Okay, well, we're seeing a different um, appearance here. Yeah. You yeah. normally got on your blue, you know, for Tyler High Lions, but you just made a career move. Talk to me about what's next, and we'll just talk about your time here after that. Well, what's next is I'm moving to the Austin area, Syntex area, but I'm going to join one of my close friends, Coach Will Compton that took over Huddle High School last June mm -hmm. uh, to help him, uh, you know, continue the process that he's going, his team uh, going from a five and five season last year is his first year and uh, looking really, really forward to this season because uh, we got a great quarterback, got a good defense coming, offense is rolling. So uh, hopefully I can help him in any way I can to have the great season that he expects from his team. So you've been with, you were with Tyler Hyde for 16 years, five years as an assistant coach, and 11 years as the head coach. I mean, this community is going to miss you. First, let's talk about why you resigned and why, you know, you think your time at Tyler High was up. Well, it, it, it gets to a point to where you, you look at things in your career and you, you figure out what you want to do next. Uh, I know that I'm getting on the other side of my career, which is towards the end, and uh, I figure out, you know, where I want to put my family, uh, where I want to put my career in, uh, how am I going to better myself uh, as, as a football coach, and how can I help out other kids in other areas. So uh, I knew that, you know, coming into this deal that I wanted to move outside of East Texas, didn't know exactly where at the time, uh, but resigning early, I wanted to give Tyler ISD the opportunity to find the best coach they possibly could to replace me. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, I mean, when you talk about coaches, it's a relationship with the players, with their families, and for you to be here so, so, so long, I mean, it was a lot of people fighting for you to stay, yeah. you know, trying to stand up at board meetings. I mean, just what do you have to say about those connections you've made here at Tyler High and just in this community? Well, I appreciate, you know, all my parents, all the fans, you know, all the ones that have been supportive of everything I've been doing for this program for the last 16 years uh, as a coach in general and then the last 11 years as a head coach. Uh, I, I appreciate my administration that helped hire me and put me in this position. Uh, those relationships are going to last forever. And I just hope that, you know, later on, you know, my kids still remember the things that I've installed in them. Uh, from a player aspect, and hopefully as a young man, being a grown man, being a husband, being a father, because at the end of the day, football is not gonna last forever. And that's one thing I've always been preaching to them since day one is, this is not the end of your life. This is just a part of the beginning of it and the story that you're gonna tell towards the end. Uh, but what, what is it gonna make you? How is it gonna put you in a position to be that great husband, to be that great father, to be somebody in the community, somebody to be proud of? Absolutely, something you said in your announcement, you said, I'm humble enough to know that I'm replaceable and confident enough to know that this would be a downgrade, but you appreciate the support. I mean, if anybody knows, it's you. You play professional football at the highest of the highs, and it's not every day. You can't keep going and going and going. <laughs> As you enter this next chapter of your life, and I guess kind of, you know, put these Texas in the rear view, you know, your home, uh -huh. where you've been the last 20 years, Years. Yeah, more um, than that. More <laughs> than I, that. I went to school from first grade all the way to I graduated from John Tyler High School. So, what's something you're gonna miss the most about the Beast Texas community? The atmosphere, mm -hmm. uh, the the close knit coaching relationships that I've been able to build with the great John King and Longview High School. You know, uh, who would have ever known that me and him would mesh the way that we mesh to have a relationship that we have. And, and just to get to know the other coaches, seeing them go from being assistant coaches to coordinators to being head coaches now. And, and then just having the kids that come through that everybody's getting to know, you know, like the Greg Wars and the Ties Biles and the Fred Ross and Justice and Darren Fly, you know, all them great kids. Jeremy Johnson is a great insurance salesman here in Tyler, Texas now. <laughs> so, you know, just to have all those great guys come through and to have some, some part, some little valuable little aspect in their life to help them be the great people that they are right now, that's the most uh, fulfilling thing for me as a head football coach and being a tolerant. Mm -hmm. A Tyler Wright. Well, uh, I'm a Longview native, but That's all right. you know this we is where this is where we come together. This is where we come together. Yeah, this is where we come together. I like well, I mean, I will say I will miss you just from oh. your antics as a head coach. You always <laughs> gave us good sound bites, but this East Texas community is going to miss you, and we wish you nothing but the best along your I appreciate journey. Appreciate it. Oh, I for sure. It. For sure. Well, that's all for sports. We'll be right back after the break.